God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. deeds are blameless and whose heart is pure will climb the mountain of the Lord. The Lord is the earth in its fullness, the world and all its people. It is he who set it on the seas, on the waters he made it firm. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? The man with clean hands and pure heart who desires not worthless things who has not sworn so as to deceive his neighbor. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him. Seek the face of the God of Jacob. O gates, lift high your heads. Grow higher, ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, the mighty, the valiant, the Lord, the valiant, and more. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher, ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Who is he, the King of glory? He, the Lord of armies, he is the King of glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. King of glory, Lord of power and might, cleanse our hearts from all sin. Preserve the innocence of your, our hands and keep our minds from vanity so that we may deserve your blessing in your holy place. The man whose deeds are blameless and whose heart is pure will climb the mountain of the Lord. Praise the eternal King in all your deeds. Blessed be God who lives forever because his kingdom lasts for all ages. For he scourges and then has mercy. He casts down to the depths of the netherworld, and he brings up from the great abyss. No one can escape his hand. Praise him, you Israelites, before the Gentiles, for though he has scattered you among them, he has shown you his greatness even there. Exalt him before every living being, because he is the Lord our God, our Father and God forever. He scourged you for your iniquities, but will again have mercy on all you. He will gather you from all the Gentiles among whom you have been scattered. When you turn back to him with all your heart to do what is right before him, then he will turn back to you and no longer hide his face from you. So now consider what he has done for you and praise him with full voice. Bless the Lord of righteousness and exalt the King of ages. In the land of my exile I praise him and show his power and majesty to a sinful nation. Turn back, you sinners, do the right before him. Perhaps he may look with favor upon you and show you mercy. As for me, I exalt my God, and my spirit rejoices in the King of heaven. Let all people speak of his majesty and sing his praises in Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Praise Praise the the eternal eternal King King in all your your deeds. The loyal heart must praise the Lord. Bring out your joy to the Lord, O you just, for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Give thanks to the Lord upon the harp. With a ten-stringed lute, sing him songs. O sing him a song that is new. Play loudly with all your skill. For the word of the Lord is faithful, and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, and fills the earth with his love. 
By his word the heavens were made, by the breath of his mouth all the stars. He collects the waves of the ocean, he stores up the depths of the sea. Let all the earth fear the Lord, all who live in the world revere him. He spoke and it came to be, he commanded, it sprang into being. He frustrates the designs of the nations, he defeats the plans of the peoples. His own designs shall stand forever, the plans of his heart from age to age. They are happy whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his own. From the heavens the Lord's, Lord looks forth, and he sees all the children of men. From the place where he dwells he gazes on all the dwellers on the earth, he who shapes the hearts of them all and considers all their deeds. A king is not saved by his army, nor a warrior preserved by his strength. A vain hope for safety is the horse, Despite its power, it cannot save. The Lord looks on those who revere him, on those who hope in his love, to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. Let him do our hearts find him find in him do our hearts find joy. We must we trust in his holy name. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Nourish your people, Lord, for we hunger for your word. Rescue us from the death of sin, and fill us with your mercy, that we may share your presence and the joy of all the saints. The loyal heart must, must praise, praise the, the Lord. Lord. Praise be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all consolation. He comforts us in all our afflictions and thus enables us to comfort those who are in trouble with the same consolation we have received from him. As we have shared much in the suffering of Christ, so through Christ do we share abundantly in his consolation. Hello. The Lord is my strength and I shall sing his praise. The Lord is my strength, and I shall sing his praise. The Lord is my Savior, and I shall sing his praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is my strength, and I shall sing his praise. Irenaeus, true to his name, made peace the aim and the object of his life. He labored strenuously for the peace of the church. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and, and to the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Irenaeus, true to his name, made peace the aim and object of his life, and he labored strenuously for the peace of the Church. Our Savior's faithfulness is mirrored in the fidelity of his witnesses who shed their blood for the word of God. Let us praise him in remembrance of them. You redeemed us by your blood. Your martyrs freely embrace death in bearing witness for the faith. Give us the true freedom of the Spirit, O Lord. Your martyrs profess their faith by shedding their blood. Give us a faith, O Lord, that is constant and pure. Your martyrs followed in your footsteps by carrying the cross. Help us to endure courageously the misfortunes of life. Your martyrs wash their garments in the blood of the Lamb. Help us to avoid the weaknesses of the flesh and worldly allurements. For these things and the things we hold in our heart, we now say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
forgive us, give us this day, day our daily, daily bread, bread. And forgive us our, our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. And lead, and lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver, deliver us from evil. evil. Amen. O God, who called the bishop, called the bishop St. Irenaeus to confirm true doctrine and the peace of the church, grant, we pray, through his intercession, that being renewed in faith and charity, we may always be intent on fostering unity and concord. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.